Hey, folks. Um, I just made this stupid thing where um, I have all these webcams hanging around my my office, and I thought, what if I plugged them all in? And I wanted to learn how to do multiple cams, and we'll switch between cameras um, with WebRTC. So I plugged them all in, and I got it all working, um, and it's pretty cool. Uh, but it um, it doesn't work on mobile, and I don't know why. So I'm going to show you how I would debug this um, on mobile. So first thing I would do is I'm just going to open this on my in safari because sometimes it's just safari and then and then you can debug it straight away in safari and it's it's not there's one camera not showing up but whatever um okay so that is not the issue um so next what i'll do is i'm going to open it up on my phone in safari and I got to open up my local version. So how do you get to your local version? Um, there's kind of two options. You could use something like local tunnel. Um, that will expose your local host to the, the wider internet. Um, and that's good if you're not on the same Wi-Fi network. But if you are on the same Wi-Fi network, all you need to know is the IP address of your computer, which you can get by going to a terminal and just typing ifconfig. And there's a thousand different ways. It's in here somewhere. 192.16. There we go. This IP address, 1234, it should load up. Yeah, okay. So it loads it up. So now if I visit that on my computer or on my phone, 1234. Okay. Um, now I want to get the console for my phone. Um, so I'll go to develop Wes's iPhone. I have it plugged in via USB cord. That's important. Um, that one. And okay, now I got dev tools open for my iPhone. So go to console. Um, I'm just going to type alert test just to make sure. And I got a test oh, you can't see me right now there's six webcams but you can't even see me um i got a test alert on my phone so that means the console is working um so i'm just gonna go refresh this page now there we go that's the error we're looking for unhandled promise rejection undefined is not an object evaluating navigator dot media devices that get user media okay um undefined is not an object scripts line 34 okay so i'm gonna go here, go on line 34, okay. Um, undefined is not an object. So uh, what I think that's telling me is that this media devices is um, not an object. Uh, so I'll just console.log navigator.media devices. And yeah, see, I'm getting undefined. That's cool. I got my live reloading set up. So uh, why not? Is it is it just Navigator? Let's see, Navigator. Yeah. Um, so then I just go to the old internet and search for um, Navigator dot Media Devices dot Get User Media Safari iOS. Uh, it's not working on iOS twelve. Do, do, do. Get used to media requires HTTPS. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That could be that could not be our actual issue here um, because it needs HTTPS. Um. Oh, it's probably plays in line. That's what it is. Um, because I have the video autoplay and plays in line and muted. So um, video will not autoplay on Safari uh, unless it is also muted. And then also you don't want to kick someone off to the video player. You want to play it on the page. So I bet plays in line will do it. Let's try that. Go ahead and start it. Oh, so that's not, um, it's not going to work because it's not HTTPS, but I bet that was the issue. So I'm just going to deploy this real quick. Um, do, do, do. There we go. Get our NPM run build. Get AC, maybe fix Safari iOS. Get push. 
I've got this listed up on Wes or hair.westboss.com. Allow. Okay, so that's working. Um, now, if I go to hair.westboss.com and start, it asks for my camera. Allow. It's still not working. So let's go back to that, that dev tools. Um, look at that console logging the, um, both of the cameras. So you see the front and the back camera on my iPhone. That's good. Uh, and then we'll open up the streams object here. There's two streams. Okay. So why I, oh, I bet you can only autoplay one, one video. So let's try that. Um, man, I wish I could. SSL proxy this right now. Um, I bet I could with browser sync. Let's just try this real quick. Um, we will do. Cameras is equal to get cameras stream promises. So what I'll do is I'll say. Uh, let I'm just going to temporarily only show one. And we'll say cameras is equal to cameras dot slice zero for one. That fixed it. All right. Um, so I, I can now see one of the cameras on there. So you're only allowed to inline autoplay one video at a time, I believe. Um, and then the, there's some other styling issues. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's it's overflowing out of it. That's just CSS um, at the end of the day. But that's how I debug weird issues on iOS. Um, there's going to be people in the comments saying, why don't you just use like this? And then you're, you're on a phone. And that's not a phone. That's just a smaller browser. That's just for media queries and things like that. If you actually need to debug the device, um, that's the best way to do it. Um, you can also use the Xcode emulator, which debugs the exact same way. It will show up under develop here. Um, but I don't think that can do cameras. I could be wrong, but yeah, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye-bye.